What's up beautiful people, it's Indarema, welcome to the channel. Today we have this interesting video from Candice Owens and it's titled, Should People Be Proud of Their Race? Hmm, interesting. I'm excited to check this one out to hear what Candice Owens have got to say. Let's check it out. So racism toward white people is all but permitted in today's society. I think we should all be acknowledging that. I think that's why, as you know, a couple of days ago, I was very happy to welcome Ami Kozak on the show and he was talking about the outrage that he felt at the anti-Semitism that he's seeing on campuses. And I offered back to him, what about the outward racism that has been executed against white people for years? I mean, things have flipped. Now you can outwardly say that you hate white people. Mm. And you won't even be censored. You won't have your videos pulled down. Nobody will call you a racist. It's acceptable, definitively in the post-George Floyd BLM era. And so this video has been making the rounds. It's really interesting to dissect and to talk about it was done by a group called Jubilee, in which they asked a group of white people whether or not they were proud to be white on a scale. They were comfortable with saying that they were proud to be white. Let's take a look at how they responded. Just be in the middle. Yeah. Can there be a middle? <laughs> All right. No. Yeah, pick a side. Pick a side. Like, I think, so like, hard. guiltily, like, I'm, like, happy that I'm not oppressed. But I'm not proud of like things people have done in the past. When I when I think of being proud of something, I think of something I worked for, or that um, yeah. I yeah I had to get I, I had to do nothing to be white. Okay, so just to show you how those people wow. responded, they the majority of them strongly disagreed with the statement that they were proud to be white. Two of them stayed in the center and said, oh, I don't really know what to say, and they reasoned. The you saw the young white girl. She said, Well. I, first and foremost, I'm, I'm happy that I'm not oppressed, which is a really stunning statement. Essentially, what she's implying there is that to be white means to be privileged yes. and that to be black means to be oppressed. I am black. I am not oppressed in any regard whatsoever. In fact, I consider myself to be remarkably privileged. I have a family. I have a husband that loves me. I have children that are healthy. I'm about to give birth to my third child, but she can't even process that. She's like, well, I'm white, so I'm happy that I'm at least safe and allowed to be privileged. The gentleman behind her says, you know, when I think of just generally speaking the word proud, what, well, I'm going to be proud of something that I've actually accomplished. And I just am born white. I didn't really accomplish anything by being born white. And actually, I want to give some credence to that. I, I actually agree with that statement. If somebody had asked me, are you proud to be black? I was just born black. I didn't really accomplish anything. I think a better question would be, are you ashamed to be black? And the answer is absolutely no. not actually quite enjoy being black, especially in today's society, as I said, since there's so much outward racism toward white people. I actually feel like I have uh, more of the ability to say what that young white girl said. I should be like, yeah, it's kind of better to be here, a little bit more privileged because you can say more. Uh, you can be more honest in today's society and have to face somewhat less sneers than you would if you were a white person. Quite remarkably, they conducted this same experiment amongst a group of black individuals and their reaction to the question was quite different. Take a listen. I am proud to be black. Wow. Well, all right, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hand clap for y'all. Yeah. I'm glad that we all strongly agree, yeah. They all strongly agreed with that statement and they applauded. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, even if I don't necessarily agree that there's something to be proud of just being born. But hey, good. Why such a disparity? Why such shame when it's a white person and such pride when it's a black person in today's society? What does that tell us? Well, I think it speaks to the fact that black people are being told that just for the sake of being black, they, they should garner a pride. They should be proud to be black. And yet that's remarkable when you consider the circumstances of the black community. Uh, what, how we are living, you know, how we are being influenced culturally, who we have put at the head of our culture. Not exactly things to be proud of. And when you tell that truth, you get rejected from the community because we have learned to love the things in our community that, mm -hmm. our, that, are, that is rotting our community. We've learned to love criminality, to celebrate criminality. When people put it into a song, we say, oh, this person's so amazing when they're talking about drugs and they're talking about prostitution and they're talking about their body parts. We are the only community that is not being told to fix the issues within our, our community so that we can advance in society. That makes me really sad. Interesting. I've seen this one of the white people before. And when I saw it, I said to myself, like, who does this? 
how would you come out like the the way people are rising or the society is rising to the point that they instill white guilt or instill guilt to the white people for making them feel guilty for something their ancestors did that they know nothing about do you get this other lady said um, um, she's glad she's not oppressed or she is proud she's not oppressed is, is that does that even make sense and the other one is saying um he has to be proud of something something is done you have to be proud of being white like who does like what in the craziness is this and you get the blacks who come out who are say who strongly agree they are proud to be black your skin color is not something you chose you were born with it so what is this idea where you have to be proud of your skin color or you not be proud of your skin color because of something that happened years ago that you know nothing about it just don't make sense honestly it doesn't and it's how people are now out in the open and would say white people um, should be ashamed or um, say white people should be guilty of what their ancestors there did but it's not their fault it is not their fault everybody whatsoever some way or the other experienced some type of oppression before and some people are still still oppressed does oppression not skin color the answer is no but why is it that some particular group of people would say they are not proud of their skin color because of what their ancestors did ancestors that you don't even know you only heard it just don't make sense it's sad to see that racism is people are now bring birthing and bringing racism to be more alive than back then just don't make sense but yeah let's go on And this young woman who is on TikTok has put together an alphabetized list of insults that you can aim at white people. Take a listen. Bruh, y'all were asking for my white people insult collection. I got y'all. We don't get kids around here. Here is the list that she put together that I'm about to show you. Her white people insult was alphabetized A. Children of the chalk. talking about 
about animals, and she started talking about products in her home that were black. She started talking about tar. She started talking about monkeys. How did the world react? And why isn't the world reacting to a young black woman that is doing the exact same thing? It's not reverse racism that we're seeing. It's just racism. Exactly. Honestly, this just doesn't make sense. And honestly, Candace Owens is actually right. If it was the reverse, then you hear tons of people come up online and say, you, you're, you're not, well, a white person is not supposed to say this about a black person. But yeah, you get a black person coming out here, making a list. I can't even imagine how somebody would sit down to write this thing like what goes through your mind and you think nothing is wrong with them this is outright coming calling out or saying that you don't like other people because of their skin color and you can be openly against them based on their skin color or openly say some derogatory words to them to their faces because of their skin color and you will go scot free and nothing and and they should be okay with it they should be okay to accept it when you know if this was done to you you wouldn't accept it you can't accept it you can't take it why dish it out honestly this just don't make sense and this is what we're seeing black people coming out on tiktok on social media to be openly racist towards white people and nobody would say anything. You don't even hear the white people come out to say, oh, somebody hate on them or somebody said something against them. Therefore, they should go out because they just don't care. They have other important things to do. But the fact that they don't care doesn't mean it make it okay to hate on them for their skin color. Neither is it, any, is it okay to, for anybody to hate on somebody else or any other person for their skin color. How are we rising to the point where people are now openly racist towards somebody? And not even just any, any kind of anybody now. Now is the blacks doing it to the whites. And nobody have got a problem with it. It just don't make sense. People really need fixing. And people really need to stop doing this. And people should be proud of who they are, not living guilt whatsoever because of what their ancestors did. It just don't make sense. Because some people just want to identify with some level of victimhood, which don't make sense. But I'm sure tons of people have got a different opinion regarding this. And I really love your honest contribution to this. You can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And all of that stuff. And until next time, see you in the next video.